Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can set up your leads importer with the Geo directory after you have your WordPress site uh, set up and with the Geo directory plugin installed. So here uh, where we are now is uh, we have the necessary plugins for Geo directory installed and the next step will be to go to your custom post type that you want to use with the leads importer and to set up the necessary fields. So in this case, we're going to go to places. And here, as you can see, we still have the directory empty because I didn't import a demo, for example. And what I'm going to do first is going to set up uh, and the settings, the fields needed for the leads importer. So here, as we can see on the right, I have already pre-filled this. We're going to need, for example, the title, the description, uh, category, address, the images, the email, phone, website, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the attribution for the, um, the photo, the place ID. If you decide later you want to update the listing, uh, the business hours, the, the rating, so the average uh, rating of a listing the ratings total and what I call the G URL. So the Google URL, which is basically the URL that will point to the listing in, in Google Maps. So once this is done, we are going to go to the place categories and we are going to set up our categories. Uh, by default, um, GeoDirector will have uncategorized, but you are free to add as many as you want. As a note also, you can set up a category and a parent category and this will also enable you to import both. So I would add for example restaurants as the parent category. And then I would add pizzeria and here below I'm going to do restaurants as the parent category. Uh, then this will be important for during the import. I will then explain this further when we are when I'm explaining the import directly. But in order for now at least to import both, you will need to select the child category. So if you would want to import a pizzeria into your um, website, you would need to actually choose the pizzeria in the drop down. But I will explain this further ahead then. So the next step then is to enable your website to communicate with Leads Importer and vice versa. So the way to do that is actually there are two ways to do that. One is to come here to the users, all users. And then I'm going to or I'm going to use the administrator user that I have already or I'm going to add one specifically for the case. So if I would use this one, for example, I would add, I would do edit. And then here below, I would add a application password. So this will enable you to communicate with Leads Importer and also vice versa. So just here, give a name that you want to remember where it's being used. And then when you add it, it's going to give you a password. So keep this password for later because then you are going to use it for uh, to edit in Leads Importer. So then we are going to go up, so we're going actually we're going to update profile and then the second way of doing this is coming into geo directory uh, settings going here into the API we enable the rest API whether whether you decide to go one way or the other you always have to have this enable the rest API and then here uh, what we are going to do is to this section here keys and create an API key. So it's going to give you, for example, we're going to do, again add a description to remember what we're going to use. So we're going to give it a read and write permissions. Then we are going to generate it. And it's going to give you a consumer key and a consumer secret. So again, keep this for later because we are going to add this in the same place where you would add the other application uh, password. Also, as a note, if later on you want to use the review plugin, 
where it will update on a daily basis the ratings and the total ratings and to do the NAI review summary. I do suggest to use then uh, this key rather than the other one. Okay. Okay, so moving forward, uh, if you haven't signed up for Leads and Porter yet, we're going to go to the sign up page here. In this case, we are going to choose GeoDirectory plugin. Uh, we're going to add then our user that we want to do it. And we are going to add the email that you want to uh, use also. Okay, so once we are in, uh, as you can see, you have 250 credits for uh, testing. Okay, so the next step is to set up your Google key. So for that, we are going to go into API settings. And here you will add your Google API key. So if you want to follow the instruction on how you can set up it. So if you want to follow up with the instructions how to set up properly the key, you can refer here to the google.com or you can check out this official video from Google and YouTube. Right. So once this part is done, save the API key, we are going to go into settings and this is where we are going to then start connecting Please Importer with your website. So as you can see, the list is still empty. So we are going to add our website. So I'm going to do it here. In this case, we are going to add the website URL that we had here. So I'm going to add it quickly. Remember to add it without this ending trail like this. So as I explained here, then in the WordPress username and the application password, for example, as I was explaining, we come here, we copy this one, then we're going to set up we add it here and then we copy the secret here and we're done. And as I was mentioning in the beginning, you can also use the other application password as we did in the first step. So I'm going to add. Okay, saved. Website saves successfully. And then as we can see here, we have it in the drop down. So now that we selected the website, we are going to first pull the post types. Uh, that we have in our website. So in order to do that, we get the list. It's going to do a quick import. And as you can see, we have here imported places. If you did a mistake or you added new uh, custom post types later on, you just need to come here, for example, uh, delete all, uh, or you come here, you still import, but then you, you need to remove the duplicates here in this place. All right, so second step, once you have the custom post types imported, we are now able to import the categories. Um, since I don't have any categories as I showed you in the example, I'm just gonna quickly add some and then we can uh, do the import. All right, so I added a couple of more. So now we are going to do the import, so get list. It's going to run the categories and as you can see, it was quite quick. So we do have here the, uh, so in the beginning we have the restaurants, the pizzeria. Uh, then I added museums, plumbers, and of course by default we have the uncategorized. So here we can actually remove this one because we're not going to use it. And as a side note, of course, here I'm not indicating which is the parent category, but this is something that I'm working on and hopefully it will be done soon and it will be easier than for you to see in the, uh, well, here in the user interface, uh, which belongs to which one is, is parent and child category. All right, so this part is done. We have the Google uh, key done. We have this part done of the settings. So this website now is actually prepared to search for uh, places and then to import them into your directory. So to do that, we are going to go into search here. And then as you can see, we have uh, there will be a couple of differences depending on the plan that you will uh, purchase. So in this case, the demo is being done in the basic plan, the starter plan, and it's quite simple. We have the keyword, we have the search location, and we have the radius. So the keyword is basically what you will want to search in Google for. So I would want, for example, pizzeria, and let's say we want to search in the city of New York. And then we want a radius of 
5 kilometers, uh, so give and take 3.1 miles. And now we are ready to do our search. So we are going to just click in search, a pop up will come, search in process, and then we have to wait a little bit. So in this case, as you can see, there's an error because I actually forgot to put the Google API key. So I'm just going to go back quickly and put the Google API key. All right, so here I am again. After adding the key, I'm going to add again pizzeria. I'm going to do New York again. We're going to choose five kilometers, 3.1 miles, and let's do again a search. So now the search is in process. Uh, so it will go for a little bit. So depending on the number of results that it will find. So let's give it a little bit and we'll be right back into the video. Okay, as we can see, the results are coming. Um, and sometimes it still takes a little bit longer because depending on the number of listings it comes and also because after finding the, the listing, it, there are still going to be a check in the website to look for the Facebook account, the Instagram, the Twitter, the email. So just be a little bit patient if it doesn't come immediately, uh, but eventually it will um, be, well, there will be, the results will come. So in this case, as we can see, we have 60 results. Uh, and then going here down, we have, for example, the Instagram for this account, the Facebook, we have the website. For this one, we also have the email. Um, and also as a side note, sometimes here, so this is the indication that has no photo, but this is actually due to the refresh time. Sometimes it does have the photo. So I'm working a little bit on improving this process, but in theory, all the images will be well, most of the images will be if you, uh, available. All right, so now here are a couple of things before proceeding to, to an actual import. We have here a toggle for enable import. We have here the GPT and also we have here the import and also we have here a CSV. So if you click on the CSV, it will give you a list uh, of these uh, results. So 60 results. If you click on add it, you will be able to add it to the, the listing. As we can see here, we have a couple of fields. Then if you would like more fields available for editing, just let me know. I will add them here. And uh, we also do have, um, for example, the individual GPT. So the difference here, if we start with the G GPT, is if we want to add a description before we import the search. And I'm going, for example, I can just test individually one uh, description for AI. For example, I can enable import, and then I want first to run a chat GPT description because I want to see how it looks like. So I'm going to click here in one, just, just for testing. We can choose the language. Let's, for example, go to Spanish, uh, 50 uh, words. And I'm going to run specifically for only this listing. So it's completed. As you can see, this icon will appear indicating that this listing has already an AI description and we can actually check it if we come here into edit. And as we had it in Spanish, it gives you a 50 word uh, description in Spanish. If you want to do all of the listings before importing them, you can just click here and the GPT, it will enable all the listings you can of course again decide what you want to do here and you just click run AI GPT and it will again use the same process as it used uh, for this listing if you do want to run the GPT together with the import you will need to click here and then as you can see the button will disappear it will not enable you to click the button and to run the GPT here so it will be done during the import. So in this case, you do the same process. Uh, let's say English, 100 words. And then here below, we are going to actually choose which listings we do want to import. So we can choose individually again. And here it will tell you two listings selected to import three. Or if you do want to import everything, you can click here on the imports and it will enable all the listings. So in this case, 60. If you still want to apply a filter, for example, for the ratings, you can click here and decide which ones do you want to import. So in this case, for example, if I would select four, it will only import listings that have the, the rating 
higher than 4. So for example, this one would not be imported with the 3.8. This would not be imported uh, and so on. Then finally, the, the, the next step before we click on the import button is to where do you want to import the listings into your website. So we have here three options. So first is if you want to immediately publish that or if you still want to do it as a draft. So if you do it as a draft and then here, because as I showed you in the beginning, I only had one custom post type. I will choose places and then the categories as I add it, I have them there here available. Again, as, as I mentioned in the beginning, because I want to import them as pizzerias, so I will choose the child because I don't need to choose the restaurants. Okay, so now that we're done pizzeria here, we're going to then click import. So the pop-up will appear indicating that the listings are being imported. So it will take a while, but you can already go into where your website and check them being imported in real time. So as you can see here, one, another one has appeared. Just a little bit more, another one. Yeah, as you can see, they are being imported and it will take a little bit to uh, do it. So let's give it a little bit until it's finished and then we'll check the website to see if everything was imported properly. All right, so our listings are imported. As we can see here, we have, let me just go to, okay. So as you can see here, 57, and then here we had 60, but because I enabled the filter, so a couple of ones were uh, left out. So once the import is done, you will also will be able to see a icon here, a check icon, indicating that this listing was successfully imported. Okay, so now we go to our uh, directory and we can see they are all in draft and we can see here the, the name, location, both categories as I was indicating. And if we take a look inside, we can see the chat GPT description that I enabled. We can see the restaurants, the pizzeria, the category, pizzeria as the default. We can see the address, country, region, city, zip code, all right. Latitude, longitude, uh, in this case, in this case, no email. Then we can here see the phone, the website. So for example, when I was explaining, we could add it, the listing here, we will remove this. I will work on a process later on to improve better this cleanup. There was no Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Here the attribution for um, the photo because it's you do need to do that to comply with Google terms and conditions. The place ID if later on you want to update uh, this listing, the business hours, the rating, the ratings total and the Google URL. So everything looks as expected. So there we go, we have all the listings imported and now you can just continue to import the listings. So thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, check the other videos where we show how to import listings using the saved searches with the map. So this is available and the plans advanced and turbo. So uh, see you there, take care.